Hey everyone, and welcome to World Heritage Journey, where today we're at Kronberg Castle in Denmark. Behind me is Kronberg Castle, one of the most famous castles in all of Europe. It dates back to the 15th century when it was founded as a military stronghold and a toll booth to control shipping on the narrow channel in and out of the Baltic Sea just in front of me. At the end of the 16th century, it was converted into a large Renaissance palace, largely similar to the one that you can see now, and it then became very, very famous as the setting for Shakespeare's play Hamlet. Let's have a closer look. So behind me you can actually see Sweden in the distance, although when the castle was built that area was controlled by the crown of Denmark. And that's partly the reason that the castle was built, so that they could control shipping going in and out of the busy Baltic Sea. And the king had the right to impose whatever taxes and duties he wanted on goods passing to and fro. It made him very, very rich. So this is the grand ballroom and it's the largest room in the whole castle. It's 62 meters long, it's 12 meters across and when it was finished in the late 16th century it was the largest room in Northern Europe. This was also the setting for many banquets, balls and all that sort of stuff that European aristocrats are absolutely famous for. So this is the castle chapel, and it's actually one of the only areas in the whole castle that largely retains its original furnishings. Everything else has mostly been lost in fires and ransackings and the long military use as well. But all the wood in here is very beautifully carved. There's lots of gilding and beautiful painting as well. And of course, the royal box, so that the king and queen could do their worshiping in private away from the rest of the court. So I should talk a little bit about Hamlet as well, because it is very important to the story of this castle. It's not known 100% that this is where Shakespeare was writing about, because of course he didn't travel to Denmark and he wouldn't have known this place personally, but it does seem fairly convincing that this is where he meant. Because of course this place had only opened about 15 years before Hamlet was written, and the nearby town, Helsingor, sounds very similar to Elsinore, which is the setting for Hamlet. But it's very important to the history here because the play is still performed every year right here in this courtyard and sometimes by very famous actors like Laurence Olivier or Richard Burton. Well, it's been a really cool visit here to the castle. I've really enjoyed checking out all the apartments and of course seeing the setting for Hamlet as well. It's something that's really unique, I think, and very exciting. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.